In SKUFetch, you now have ability to list items on eBay without API access using an authentication token from eBay File Exchange. With this method, you will also not need to use the Chrome extension and will not need to leave your PC on 24 hours in order to get your items listed. This option is also great for those who have VAs listing for them as they will not need access to your eBay account. To get started, log into SKUFetch. With your eBay workspace selected, click List and Export Settings. For Select Lister, for Single Fetch, select File Exchange Lister via Auth Token from the drop down menu. If you have logged into SKU Fetch via SKU Grid, you will see your SKU Grid remote key automatically populated. Next is Use Private IP of Remote Chrome to interact with eBay. Just as it is in SKUGrid, it's safer to use your own dedicated IP address, so we suggest purchasing Remote Chrome from your SKUGrid account so that you can. More information on Remote Chrome will be provided below this video. If you do not have Remote Chrome, then you can leave this option defaulted to Shared IP. The IP address will be shared amongst other people and, as noted, may eventually appear to be more suspicious to eBay. If you do have Remote Chrome and have it set up in SKU Grid, then you can select the Remote Chrome username from the drop down menu. Next, under eBay Auth Token, click the Get Auth Token link. A new tab will open and you will be redirected to log into eBay to get your token. Enter your eBay username and password and click Login. You will be asked to grant application access to eBay File Exchange. Click Agree. Note, this is not an API connection to eBay. You are granting access for you to obtain an authentication token, which is a programming key that can be used for SKUFetch to send your listing data to eBay through File Exchange without using API. Once eBay has generated the token, you'll see a programmatic upload token displayed. You may want to copy this token and save it to a notepad for safekeeping. Then go to the tab with SKUFetch in it and paste in the auth token. If you were previously using a different lister with SKUFetch and already have the rest of your settings configured, you can just go down to Batch Fetch and change the drop down in the right corner that says Manual Entry to copy settings from Single Fetch. Then do the same with Big Product Fetch and save settings. However, if you are new to SKUFetch for eBay Country, Select the listing country that you are selling on. Then you'll need to continue configuring your lister settings for single fetch before copying them to batch fetch and big product fetch. We'll put a link below this video for more detailed information on configuring those settings. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.